Hey folks, it's shortly before 6 a.m. on a Monday morning, and I'm on my way to Hua Hin. But first, I've got to get through Bangkok. So come along, I'm going to show you how to do it. And uh, by the way, welcome to the jungle. So yeah, um, just a couple uh, quick points of order uh, before I get into this. Um, one, crossing Bangkok in a car is entirely different than crossing on a motorcycle. Crossing in a car, you have all kinds of available options with bridges, highways, tollways, motorways, etc. In a, on a motorcycle, uh, most of those options are forbidden. And I'm going to show you why. I'm going to put up the sign. Here it is. This is the most dreaded sign in uh, all of Thailand for me. And it clearly says no motorcycles, no bicycles, tuk-tuks, rickshaws, etc., etc. There are different variations of this sign, but this sign is, uh, or one very similar, uh, you will see on most of the entrances to highways and bridges and things like that. So it's, it's because of that sign that this whole like guide is necessary. Now, uh, I told you there's a lot of way, different ways across Bangkok. Um, most of those are not available to a motorcycle. The way that I went uh, seemed to be the best way for me after doing some research, talking to people, getting recommendations, etc. What I really hope is this is just the start of a conversation. So I hope uh, if you're watching, maybe you have a different way and you can uh, explain that in the comments or maybe give the pros and cons of some different ways. Um, but this is just the way that I went that's right for me. What I don't want, though, I, I do not want comments to the, uh, you know, kind of uh, with this type of theme, meaning, oh, this bridge or this highway is no motorcycles, but you can do it, they don't enforce it. Or people do it all the time and don't get caught. Or, oh, I do it all the time, I know the sign's there, but I've never been caught. I only want legal ways of crossing. I, and if it involves going past one of those signs, then uh, it's it's not valid because I would be the one. <laughs> I would be the first one caught. I would do it one time and I would get caught and uh, I'd have to pay a fine and the whole nine yards go to the police station and have my whole day ruined. And I don't want to give advice like that to others. So even though there are there may be situations like that where there's an overpass or a bridge that may not be totally enforced. Um, I, I would prefer you kept that to yourself and only we talk about legal crossing methods um, for this guide. Okay, so let's get into this. Okay, so what we're doing in effect today is we're going from the east coast uh, the east Gulf coast of Thailand to the west coast. So for example, Pattaya to Hua Hin. Um, if you live anywhere on the east coast or stay anywhere on the east coast, whether it's Pattaya, Jom Tien, Sriracha, Chonburi, etc., even as far down as Rayong, um, you will know Sukhumvit Road. I'm putting up a map. Sukhumvit Road is also known as Route 3. That runs the whole length of the east coast basically and runs right into Bangkok. And that is where, that is our route um, to, for the first initial phase of this crossing into Bangkok. So I just want everybody on the same page. Uh, Sukhumvit Road, Route 3. No matter where you stay on the East Coast, that's your route into Bangkok, stay on that. And I'm gonna show you how, there's only one little bugaboo. I'm gonna put this up here so you can see. There is a turnoff you have to make. Um, to kind of stay on Route 3. And uh, I just want you to, to know about it and to look for the sign. The sign that you're going to look for is for Samut Prakan. And you want to follow that uh, sign, uh, Samut Prakan, because that's really where you're going. It's that lower area of Bangkok that uh, will give you access to the city along Sukhumvit Road. And... Um, you don't want to miss this turn off. Yeah, you, you can go the other way. You can stay on 34. That's That actually would be 34. And you can come into Bangkok, but uh, then you'll just have to turn a different way. And that's not what this guide's focused on. This guide goes, follows Sukhumvit Road, Route 3, 
all the way and you have all of your turns and everything uh, off of that so um, like I said just want everybody on the f same page to start okay so what we've been doing uh, from the beginning of this video is we've been on route 3 Sukhumvit Road and the um, and we've been coming into Bangkok the BTS tracks are is this elevated portion to our right here you see they're held up with all these pillars and this is a BTS station that we're going under in total once you start getting into Bangkok you will see this uh, these uh, big cement uh, uh, pillars on your right and you will see the tracks and then occasionally you will go under a station um, there are a total of eight stations that you need to count um, I think that's the fifth or sixth one but I'm gonna go over don't worry I'm gonna go over the last ones the uh, that's the most important ones um, that, because once you pass eight stations you will have to make a turn a left-hand turn and I'm going to show you where um, there's only one place here that the tracks will not be to your right generally you're just going to keep going underneath these stations keep these uh, big pillars and the and the BTS track off to your right and you'll be fine there is one place up here where uh, the BTS will actually kind of swing and curve way out and and our road and that's after the seventh um, station between the seventh and eighth station so uh, I'll, I'll be sure to point that out to you but um, this route uh, route three um, originally when you get on it it just runs along the coast there's no BTS uh, there is some construction going on in various spots um, I came through uh, in the hours of darkness and the wee hours of the morning there wasn't a lot of uh, street lights and with the construction going on and some wet roads that had just rained it, it was a <laughs> it was a little bit hairy in places but generally it's a it's a great route on my way back I took it um, even during the construction there was so little traffic it was easy to get around people um, easy to get a, 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 on the side lane and keep going um, so I think it was uh, I think it was a great way uh, for me personally um, but yeah this is only like six o'clock in the morning your mileage may vary now right here you, you can see that the BTS curved uh, went over top of us and curved off to our left you can kind of keep your eye on it and follow it still it's on our left but what's going to happen it's going to swing all the way back over um, and we're going to be right back where we were with the BTS on our right as long as you just stay the course here don't panic um, it's just this one place after the seventh BTS BTS station that this happens and now right here it's corrected and we are back in business so um, we're coming up on the eighth uh, BTS station um, from from uh, entering Bangkok and I believe the name of this station if I'm saying it right is uh, Pu Chow I think that's right Pu Chow but you'll get a look at the sign here you can always pause the video as well um, but this is your last station uh, once you pass Pu Chow the next station would be Sam Rong you don't want to go as far as Sam Rong you're gonna go up here and you're gonna turn left um, uh, you want to look for the signs that say Pra Pradang Pra Pradang and some signs will be coming up I will uh, show you here in a second and we're gonna make a left-hand turn and uh, there's, there's a light there so you have to stop anyway um, so basically it's the next light after the 8th BTS station or after uh, Pu Chow where you want to turn left and uh, you can see the light from here we're coming up on it and of course there's a bunch of traffic and I'm not sure if this is one of the turns you can turn left on without waiting for the light uh, but there's a big bus up here and um, whatever way he's going he's not turning so uh, yeah just gotta wait um, but anyway I will go ahead and advance it and then we'll turn left but that's that this turn will take you back to the port where the uh, motorcycle ferry is and it's called again Pra Pradang okay yeah so we can finally turn left and you gotta be a little careful because there is an uh, uh, opposing traffic lane on the right that is where you would be if when you're coming back uh, that's how you make the right on route 3 from this road now this road uh, goes to Pra Pradang goes to the ferry at Pra Pradang the title or the number designation of this road is 3113 3113 um, it's a 
almost perfectly straight road. I don't remember any curves. It's a pretty level road. And it just kind of goes right back and dead ends at the river. It dead ends basically at the ferry. Um, I guess this is about five, six kilometers though. It's a, it's a good little ways back here. Um, so I'm speeding this up. Um, it's the morning time. There's like factories and stuff back here. It seemed to be a very industrial area. Uh, so people going to work, clocking in at these factories and things like that. Um, but it's a, it's a good, like, I don't know, five, five or so minutes back here. A few moments later. So yeah, here we're getting close. If you look down there, you can see this gold. Um, there's the bridge that you can't go over. Um, there's this like a gold uh, framed uh, portrait of the king down here. And that's the end of the road for all intents and purposes. Um, the only thing beyond that is the uh, entrance to the ferry. So that's what you're basically looking for. The road to dead end here at the uh, portrait. And um, they have a couple of these little chutes you go down. I guess it depends which one uh, has a boat waiting for you. But uh, this is how easy it is. Just drive right down here and uh, right onto the ferry. And as you can see, I'm like, what, the fourth one on this load. And it probably only less than 10 minutes. And uh, the ferry was underway and was, I would say, maybe 70% full. So, yeah, I'm not sure they um, wait for it to be full. Um, they probably have a schedule they keep. I'm not sure what the schedule is, but it's probably like every 10 minutes or it's something so regular. You really don't need to know when it, what the schedule is. And then the guy will come around and, uh, and give you a ticket. It's 10 baht. So about 30, 31 cents, something like that. And gives you a little piece of paper, this little slip and, uh, you're officially paid. I don't know what you're supposed to do with the slip. I just put mine in my pocket. Um, you gotta buy another one on the way back. Apparently you can pay 20 baht and get like a round trip slip. Uh, I just paid the 10 baht, got the slip. And then they pull up here. Now, once the ferry's underway, I, I don't even think it takes five minutes, um, at, at most five minutes. And then it's a big uh, bum rush for everybody to get off. And um, you have to turn either left or right up here, of course, uh, this little driveway. And you wanna turn right. You wanna go right here. And uh, this is really close. It's like, I don't know, 100, 100 meters, 200 meters, something like that. And there's a building up here with kind of an angled corner right here. And this is where you turn left. It's like the first place you can really turn left. And um, this is kind of a, a narrow road to start off with. There's like some, some market space up here and things. But then you go over this overpass and you can see, the, uh, see a temple there. Um, to your right and the little canal it goes over and once you come off this overpass it goes pretty it gets pretty wide and turns into a, a bigger road and then it ends so this road connects the ferry with this main road up here which is called 303 and uh, you have a T intersection again here you have to turn left or right so yeah we're gonna make a, a right hand turn here and um, this road, uh, again, called 303, uh, we're going to be on this for about four and a half kilometers. Um, and you don't, you don't want to be off to the left here. There's a lot of little things. There, here's one right here that you kind of get sucked into if you're in the left lane. I would stay out of the left lane, stay more in the middle or, or to the right, um, because you don't want to you don't want to get off this road until uh, I'll show you where the exit is. We're, what we're basically going to jump to from this road is 35. Um, route 35 will be the main um, uh, east to west route out of the out of Bangkok and will take us right out of the city. Um, uh, and I'll show you that. Um, a few moments later. But yeah, this is about, uh, right up here is the sign. You can see it up here, the green sign with the arrow. That's that's where you want to get off. Um, 35, and it's going to be a big, you got two lanes here that can, uh, that can uh, you can exit on off to the left. And um, that's basically, that's basically your ticket out of town. Once you're on this road, 
um, you're going to go all the way, uh, all the way uh, out of town. If you look over here to the right, and I'll try to slow it down, you can see one of the famous no motorcycle signs um, up here on the right. And what that's indicating for is for you to stay off of 35 proper and to stay on the service road. Um, or the frontage road, whatever you want to call it. That's where we're on now. Uh, and that's a pretty standard thing when you have kind of a highway in urban areas. Um, I know it sucks, but uh, it's a thing. Now, down here farther, there, there was some construction in some areas. There was not a sign, and I cut over. Um, as soon as I didn't see a sign saying no motorcycles, I cut over. And eventually, the service or frontage road that disappears altogether and you uh you can get onto the main uh the main 35 highway portion and i took this all the way to highway four and uh, took a left on highway four to go down to uh cha'am and hua hin so that is the uh route through bangkok so I think that'll do it for uh, this little guide here. Um, like I said, this road will take you as far over as Route 4. So just take it as long as you, uh, wherever you're going. Um, and don't forget, let me know, as long as it's legal, let me know the way that you cross Bangkok on a motorcycle uh, in the comments below. I'm sure um, others would want to know as well. So uh, thanks for watching. I'm um, going to leave this right here. Until next time, bye for now.